Hi everyone. In this video I will share 5 useful scripts for Illustrator users, this is the third part of this useful script series. These scripts will save you time and effort. How to download and install these scripts, the video has already been uploaded on my YouTube channel, and the link is mentioned in the description. Let's move to the first script which is Circle Fill. Here I draw a circle using the ellipse tool. Then I have an elephant silhouette. And a triangle. Select the circle, go to the file menu then script and circle fill. Here we have multiple options, we can set the maximum size, minimum size, and distance between and color for the circles. Set them and hit OK. And that's it. Let's try it with the other shapes. Let's move to the second one, which is a convert to gradient. Here I have a mascot face and two circles. Select the circles, go to the file menu then script and convert to gradient. We have two options, gradient shift and angle. Gradient shift option is for the difference between the colors in the gradient. Set according to your requirement and hit OK. And that's it. Let's try it with the other example. Gradient applied to every single shape. And that's it. Let's jump to the third one, which is the split path. Don't do it like this. Instead, select the lines and shape. Go to the file menu, script, and split path. First, I try with the intersect option and click on OK. And see the magic. You can change the profile as per your requirement. Let's try it with the other option. Minus front. Let's try the other examples. And that's it. Let's move to the fourth one, which is the Swatch Legend script. Don't do it like this. Instead, select the colors, right click on it, and choose Group. Open the Swatches panel. If it's not there bring it from the window menu. Click on the group button to make a group of these colors. Then go to the file menu, script, and swatch legend script. And here is the result. 
These details are totally editable. You can change the font, add or remove text, or make any other adjustments you desire. Let's jump to the fifth, which is Divide Length. I create a line using the Line Segment tool. Then a curve using Arc tool. And a square. Select the line, go to the File menu, Script, and Divide Length. Divide each selected segment using number based on its length. You can do further if you need. Let's try it with the other examples. And that's it. Share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. Where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.